of the heart through another vessel called what? Pulmonary artery which takes the deoxygenated blood to the lungs and basically that is the flow of blood through the heart okay all right now we're going to look at the circulatory systems and yes there are more than one system the first one is the pulmonary circulation now I want you to note when you see this part of the word P-U-L-M-O-N it refers to what? Lungs. If you want to call it lungs circulation. Now why? Notice now we have the heart here and we have the what? Lungs. Now this arrow is indicating that we have blood flowing from the heart and to the what? Lungs. Notice now our heart is what? Beating. Maybe it's doing jiggy with jiggy with jiggy jiggy with Right? Good. So, so the, the blood flows from the heart to the lungs. We've got the heart just pushing in and out like it's punching. Boop. Yes. Boop. Good. No. And then you can see now, blood is leaving the lungs now and going back to the what? Heart. So that is called pulmonary circulation when blood flows from the heart to the lungs and from the lungs back to the heart. Here it is. So this is the flow of blood from the heart to the lungs and from the lungs back to the heart. Yep. Now, the other system is what? The systematic what? The systematic circulation. Now, what's that about? Yes, here is our heart again. Let's start. It's getting jiggy, right? Good. You want to move? I want to see you dancing with the heart. Can you dance with the heart? Yes, keep dancing. Ah, no, it's not skipping to my loo. It's just basically getting jiggy, eh? Good. Now, the rest of the body. What happens here? Oh, oh look at it. Jiggy. Oh yes. So therefore the blood is basically what? Dancing all the dancing because you know it's probably it's happy. Happy heart, you know. Do you know why people say that musical little look red thing and call it love? Yes, man, the heart is beating out of love and pumping out a lot of love. Good. But anyway, in this case, blood is basically leaving the heart, going to the rest of the what? Body, and then guess what? Yes, blood leaves the rest of the body and returns to the what heart and that is called systematic circulation so this is the flow of blood from the heart to the rest of the body and back to the heart so there are what two circulatory systems pulmonary circulation and systematic circulation all right hmm. Do you know what this is? This is a task that you must do. And this is a part of your worksheet. Now you're going to look at this part of the video. You're going to take your pencil or your pens and your paper that you're writing your answers on. So, so, uh, so I want, would like for you now to attach a folder leaf to your worksheet. Now on that folder leaf now, you're going to write a a few paragraphs or a few sentences describing what you see happening in this diagram is that clear so you're going to write about what is noticed that is happening in the, in the diagram what the different activities that are taking place in this diagram you must do this if you don't do it it simply means you have not completed the worksheet hence you should not come to class if this worksheet is not completed okay here are the different parts so you use these words and other words to form your little essay describing what is happening in this diagram okay so pause the video and write your essay now 
do you know what word is this? Cardiac cycle. So now we're going to discuss now what we call the cardiac cycle. Do you know what this what is this what does this look like to you? Looks like the heart, yes. And these arrows, what are they indicating? Yes, they are indicating that blood is actually what? Leaving the heart. So, guess what? Now, the first, now one of the phases in the cardiac cycle is called the systol, systolic or systole. It is called what? Systole or otherwise called the systolic phase. Now, in this phase, the heart contracts. And you saw when the heart basically was what? Contracting where it squeezed. And as it squeezes, it what allows the blood to leave the heart, or it pushes out the blood. Now, so in this phase, the heart contracts, the blood pressure rises, yes, and blood moves out of the heart along the vessels. So when the blood is leaving the heart, that phase of the cycle is called systole. Is that clear? Now, notice what happens is here. Blood is now what? Entering the heart. So guess what? The muscles are now what? Relaxed. And guess what? The blood pressure is what? Low. And guess what? What is? The heart is now what? Receiving blood. Very good. So, what is this phase called? It's called a diastolic phase. Or otherwise called what? Diastole. So we have systole and diastole now in this phase the heart relaxes and blood pressure falls means that it decrease and blood fills the heart so therefore you can see the arrows showing that now the heart is what receiving blood so there are two phases one systole when the blood is push the heart is pushing out the blood and diastole when the heart is what receiving blood and that's it cardiac cycle now all this basically is controlled by now I'd like you to listen to this carefully the heart beats and goes through this complete cycle about 72 times each minute so every minute is 72 times it goes through this what cycle the heart beat is initiated automatically or the heartbeat is started by a special tissue in the heart called the pacemaker. So the pacemaker is what controls the heartbeat. Now pacemaker, spelling P-A-C-E-M-A-K-E-R. So the process is to a certain extent what? Automatic. Very good. Now, we're coming to the end. Now, I want you to pay close attention to what is happening here. Now, here we have the uh, capillary containing what? Blood. And the capillary itself is a blood vessel. And of course, if you remember, the capillary has what? Thin walls and uh, it is one cell thick. Now, blood is entering the capillary at high what? pressure that the arrow indicates this entering the capillary high pressure now if you notice now that through the capillary walls as you can see these walls which are thin water cells oxygen glucose etc pass through the what capillary walls so this is basically maybe if you want to call it diffusion good now around surrounding the cells now if you remember when you have cells combined together they form what we call what a tissue so these are called the what cell tissue now the fluid surrounding this tissue is called tissue fluid now what is it that forms the tissue fluid what forms the tissue fluid is this leaking 
of the what? Blood plasma. Because this arrow indicates that blood plasma is passing through the capillary wall and now surrounds the what? Cells tissue. Because it is the plasma now that is actually carrying these substances which will now enter the what? Cells, as you can see. Now, you can also see that the water re-enters what? The capillary by a process called osmosis. Now, osmosis is a process by which water molecules travel from an area of high concentration of water to an area of what? Low concentration, which would be in the capillary. So, therefore, now we see substances also what? Leaving the cells, for example, carbon dioxide and water vapor. Now, this happens as a result of a process called what? Yes, respiration. So, now the blood now continues to flow along the capillary, but of a lower pressure flowing into the what? Veins. So, we have blood leaving arteries, passing through capillaries, and then what? Joining up back to the what? Veins, which will carry the blood back to the heart. Now, if you notice right here, we have a lymphatic vessel, a part of the lymphatic what? System. Okay. Now, I want you to listen to this carefully, even though it will be in your notes. It says that the lymphatic system, it drains the tissue fluid away from the cells in special lymph what? vessels. So as you can see now, the, these arrows are indicating that the tissue fluid now is, now is being drained by the lymphatic what? vessels. Now these lymph vessels pass to lymph glands. If you look at your worksheet, you will see the, the lymph glands, which act as what? Filters. You know what filters does? It, it purifies blood or purifies um, fluids. Now, the glands contain many white blood cells. You remember what the white blood cells does? Yeah, man. Which deal with any harmful microorganisms drained by the lymph. So, therefore, one function of the lymphatic system is to, is to get rid of harmful microorganisms. Now, this is why lymph glands may become swollen in serious infections whereby they become involved in much greater activity now the lymph fluid only passes in one direction owing to valves in the larger what vessels now lymph circulation is helped by a contraction of nearby skeletal muscles and by breathing what movements eventually all the lymph vessels join into two ducts which join a vein at the base of the neck. So you can follow me as I read on your diagram. Which join a vein at the base of the neck. And now the lymph thus returns to the blood where it rejoins the plasma. So the blood that returns to the plasma is now purified because of the what? Lymphatic system. So the lymphatic system really is to purify the plasma before it returns to the what blood good all right so basically that is that now if you notice now if you remember that the lacteals in the less than we did digestion in the villi of the small intestines carry what fats via lymph vessels to the blood in this way now the lymphatic system so acts as a second circulatory system and is specially adapted to deal with what infections so if you're asked what the function or purpose or role of the lymphatic system is basically to purify the plasma which will return to the blood now try these or try this question number one which blood vessel allows substances to pass through their walls number two which blood vessel is likely to contain the most nutrients a few hours after eating heavy meal? And number three, name five substances transported by the blood. Remember, your answers to these questions 
will be either on the next DVD lesson or on your worksheet. Now we have come to the end of the lesson based on the circulatory system created by Ronique Bernard, recorded by Leighton Smith. Thank you. Thank you.
get a uniform press. Pack your knapsack. Kim's a school of the team. Prefect of Vinci. Make sure say you wanna school.